Have you heard of? <laughs> Have you heard of? <laughs> Have you heard of thrust reversers? Hello, I'm Captain JK. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about aviation and pilot's life. Today, I'm going to talk about thrust reversing system with the airplanes. Do you think propeller airplanes also have thrust reversing system? Not all, but yes. Why do commercial aircraft need thrust reversing system? All the airplanes have brake system on their wheels. For example, in Boeing 787, there are 8 main wheels on the main landing gear. Not all the cases, but there are mostly very expensive carbon brakes with lots of pistons all around the wheels. They look they're gonna stop everything right there instantly, don't they? Boeing 787 weighs around 400,000 pounds or 180 tons at landing and its speed upon landing gets to 170 miles an hour or 280 kilometers per hour. Normally the distance required after touchdown is approximately 5,000 feet or 1,800 meters. To meet all these requirements, 8 wheel brakes in the main landing gear are not going to cut it. Especially in high speed, Wheel brakes are not as effective as thrust reversers. And there's one more guy very important to stop this heavy monster, ground spoilers. This device has got two important roles, air braking and spoiling the air over the wings. It is to reduce the lift over the wings so that the tires get more weights on them. This makes wheel brakes much more effective for stopping. How do reverse thrust work? Every fan is to blow the air in one direction and the thrust of the airplane is produced from a fan, a big fan. Big fan! No matter which aircraft it would be, prop, turboprop, even jet engines. Okay, today we're talking about thrust reversers. Then how do they blow the air in opposite direction? It's simple and easy, making a turn in the opposite direction. Look. Just like this. But it is just impossible to suddenly change its direction when it comes to spinning metal fan in thousands of RPM. It is physically no no. So the engineers had to come up with some other ideas. As a result, they've got two different types of reversing thrust of jet engines. Cold stream type reverser. You might have seen this weird looking engines during landing roll. This is the most typical thrust reverser system called a cold stream reverser. As you can see here, today's jet engines take high bypass system, which means that 90% of incoming air is bypassed while only about 10% of the air goes through the engine core. And that 90% of the bypassed air makes the most of the thrust. In this cold stream reversing system, there are several parts inside the engine to change the direction of bypassed air. When the pilot pulls the reversal lever upward upon touchdown, the rear part of the engine cover called a sleeve moves backward to make a room where the air can be let out in opposite direction. And there are two types in this cold stream reversing system. This is a cascade type which I already said is the most typical one in modern jets. This looks a bit different but it is also the same kind. This is named as pivoting door type. Bucket or clamshell type. Okay, let's take a look at the other ones. These ones are normally used in rear mounted engines. The name is bucket type or clamshell type reversal system. Unlike the cold stream systems, this guy takes whole air from the engine and reflects them backwards. MD-80, which I flew for the first time as an airline pilot, has this one. Power back. 
Some of my friends have asked me if the airplane can go backwards by itself. Technically, yes. This is called power back. Many years ago, in some airports, this power back procedure was allowed. But this procedure is no longer used for getting out of the gate because it's ineffective, too loud, and too dangerous. Take a look at this. This tipping backward incidents have happened due to weight shift, but the same incident may happen if the pilot used pedal brakes during power back. Aircraft with propellers. We have talked about thrust reversing system in jet airplanes. What about the propeller aircraft? Bigger ones do have, as opposed to small ones like Cessna 172. Okay, but they use completely different way than jet airplanes. Okay, this time no buckets, no cascade whatsoever for some technical reasons. Like I told you earlier in this video, the fan spinning in very high speed cannot suddenly change its direction. Then how on earth do they do to get thrust reversed? Here goes the secret ingredient. Now, I'm gonna use this. Ha <laughs> ha! You want it? Come get it. Oh! High performance propeller aircraft uses variable pitch system, which the angle of the propeller blades can be shifted as needed. So they get reverse thrust not by changing the direction of the rotation, but by shifting propeller blade angle. What an awesome idea. The crash related to thrust reversers. Thrust reversers are mechanically locked in the air, even if the pilots try to use them. But as I always say, there's no such a thing as a perfect machine. I'll introduce the case that is caused by a thrust reverser in flight deployment. May 26th in 1991, Lauda 004 took off from Bangkok. About 15 minutes later, when they were still climbing, thrust reverser of number one engine was deployed. Imagine the situation where one engine is pulling backwards while the other engine is pulling forward with full thrust. The plane got into a deep bank and deep dive condition and started falling down. Unfortunately, they failed to recover. In the end, they crashed into mountains. Investigation revealed that the tail section was ripped apart even before they hit the ground due to speed over structural limit. Okay, today we've gone over the thrust reversal system in the airplanes. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye.